YouTube friends, it's me, Theosha Talks, and today I'm going to do a product review um, for something that I purchased just because I felt like spending a few dollars. So I was, let's give you the background. Um, you've seen the commercials on TV, um, and I always wondered about it, and I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. But then when I saw it on sale at my local Sam's Club for $17.99, when it retails at $19.99 originally and you only get one but I got two what am I talking about flawless I've got the flawless brows and what is this the flawless face I don't know the one so there's two different ones <clears throat> okay so I usually spend like maybe like 10 bucks to get my eyebrows threaded and I like getting my eyebrows threaded. Do not get me wrong. I don't think that I'm going to be giving that up anytime soon. But, you know, like I said, seeing it on TV, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't think that I was this, um, what's the word, um, impressionable when it came to advertising, but apparently I am. So I ended up buying, um, it came in a, in a pack with two of them in it, with the two of them. But like this by itself or this by itself is like 20 bucks, but I got both of them together in a set for $17.99. I've used them before, but, um, you know, I did not talk about it and I had been meaning to because I've had them for a while. Um, I do need to get my eyebrows done, but I'm just like, can I use this to just kind of clean up this area just a little bit? And I'm going to do that on camera. So excuse me while I try to brush them up. I have no idea where my brush is. Or, you know, I used to have a little brush spoolie something. Girl, listen, I'm not a makeup person. I'm not a makeup guru. I don't really keep that stuff on hand as I should. So forgive me. Love me where I'm at, y'all. So let me put my hair back. So... A regular little elastic little headband that I got from my local Dollar Tree. You can get a pack of like eight of them for like a dollar. And so just pull my hair through. A little beady bead right there. And oh hello. 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 Oh my god. There we go. There we go. Okay. There's that. So now you can actually see my face. Now, whether or not you can see any actual hair on my face, that's another situation because I don't have like a high def camera. Uh, but it's about the same size as like a, a larger lipstick. So it's kind of kind of big, but it's shaped just like a lipstick. You can keep this in your purse. This takes a double A battery. The other one takes a triple A. They both came with like little brushes like two little separate brushes to kind of like, you know, brush them out, get them clean from the hairs and things that will collect apparently in there. And I was very afraid that it was going to hurt. It doesn't. Um, but I use the bigger one, of course, to do my upper lip. A lot of us have peach fuzz and whatnot on our upper lip. And then I've got like some pesky hairs like that come in on my chin and just a little bit like right under there. And um, I usually pluck them. But plucking them can be a little bit difficult at times. But apparently you can use this like every day. Have I been using it every day? Nope. But I probably should. So turn it on. Has a little light on it. Can you see the little light? And it just lets you see what you're doing. And so like I said, I got some little chin hairs. I want to get those off of there. And let's hit this lip. And it doesn't hurt at all. Like, I didn't know, like, I mean, I don't know if it's like a, I guess it's an electric razor, like the ones back in the day that men used to use, but it, it just feels like a light little buzzing on your face. Like, what you hear is like what you feel. It's very light, and that's just me pressing down on it. So give me a second while I look into my mirror. Sorry. Let's see if I'm missing anything. Or a few colors right there. I guess I'll show you down. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Right here. And like I said, I get my eyebrows um threaded. I have gotten my lip threaded before and that hurts like the dickens. So I don't do that anymore. And I'm not a fan of wax. Or a few I got a few little stubborn hairs here. 
that I might just get off camera, so let's not even talk about that. But um, I've got my whole face uh, threaded before. Y'all, there's a YouTube video that I have on it. Um, you don't have to even try to look for it. It's not that great of a video. Anyway, <laughs> I do this for my own personal like entertainment. So whether or not people watch them is really not even a thing, but it is what it is. So here is the other one. It's smaller. Of course, like you can see it has more of a precise tip and you turn it on and the light is there. And so I'm definitely going to use my mirror for this. And I don't know what you guys can see and what you can't see. It's just that my brows aren't really that shaped. But I'm going to try to uh, see what I can see. I just kind of pinpoint some of the ones that I definitely don't want on my face. And you're supposed to go in a circular motion, which I find a little odd because... If you're trying to go in a straight line or at least a curved line, it's kind of hard. You like you're making little circles like that. And I'm like, am I really about to just buzz off all of my eyebrows? Well, if I do, they'll grow back. I guess I'll just be wearing all my hair to the front of my head until, I, you know, it grows back. Now, this little tip gets warm. This is hot. The other one didn't seem to get as hot. If I can do the other brow. So yeah, again, this does not hurt at all, but it does take off the hair. It probably would have looked a little better had I um, shaped it up first. I also don't um, fill in my brows. I just don't like. Okay confession i'm just not a fan of it like a lot of times when people fill in their brows they i mean you see that i have very little hair on my eyebrows so i probably should be one of those people that fill them in but i don't and but i really just feel like a lot of times people do it too much and it's just a real harsh line and they kind of look like clowns eye, eyebrows and that's not cute like we're not even talking drag queen eyebrows where they are exaggerated and amazing and just whatever because they have glue stick their own down and put pressed powder and everything else on them to you know make that completely invisible and then they draw them on no i'm talking to people who have regular eyebrows and some of which have decent eyebrows and then they line outside of their actual natural brow and i just can't i don't like that and I guess it doesn't matter if I like it or not because, you know, I just have to deal with what I have to deal with on my own face. But it just, it just bothers me. That's just a pet peeve of mine. It is what it is. Like if you're drawing them in because you don't have them at all, but you do like a nice little thin line. I think I may have done too much on this one. So there's that. I probably should get off this camera and go try to clean this up a little bit. But, um, but yeah, it's one thing if you're drawing a natural looking brow, um, because yours are sparse or you shave them off or whatever. But then there's a whole other situation if you are like, you know, blocking them out and it's like this huge, y'all, I'm trying to love y'all where y'all at and it's difficult because I don't like that. And it's difficult and it's distracting for me to look at your face. I've said it, I'm not sorry. But again, as someone told me yesterday, in regard to a whole different subject, it's my money. I do it what do what do with it what I want, <laughs> and that is the truth, Ruth. You spend your money however you want to, pumpkin. Excuse me for having an opinion about anything, but you know everybody has an opinion. Opinions are like elbows. Everybody has at least one. Oh, it's still for people who don't have arms. That was not funny. That web wasn't trying to be funny or anything. That oh man. I should probably stop talking now. Anyway, so yeah, that is what flawless brows and face. Did I drop the other one? I think the other one fell out on the floor. 
Well, that's what the flawless things look like. So that's um, that's that. And I guess I will just see you guys. Oh, no, it didn't. It's right here in front of me. I don't have my glasses on, so of course I couldn't see it. But yeah, it's flawless. This is a non-spawn, just to let you know. But, you know, I spend my coins because there are things that I want to do. And maybe somebody in life just wanted to know what a regular girl like myself feels about things that they've seen on TV. And again, it's my money. I spend it how I want to. <laughs> Full circle. See how they came right on back around? Anyway, I gotta go. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.